What, you thought I was gonna make this video without talking about the biggest menace in the animal kingdom? Ladies and gentlemen, the honey badger. It's basically a 30 pound bag of anger issues that belongs to the weasel family. They also belong to the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in the world. But that's obvious. I mean, they literally square up with lions. They also steal lions food and then fight them to defend the stolen food. That's gangster. Oh, but it's not just lions that get that treatment. Nope. Those paws are rated E for everyone. They've been known to attack and take down hyenas, African wild dogs, buffalo. They weigh 30 pounds, taking down a 2,000 pound beast. Make that make sense. But then again, for the honey badger, that's light work. They come stock with razor sharp claws and a bite force that rivals a black bear. They could bite and break open a tortoise's shell. Let that sink in. They also have super thick rubbery skin that's extremely hard to penetrate. And that goes for anything. Claws, teeth, spears, machetes. I don't even think Buddy here realizes that he got new piercings. How do you think they're able to come out of situations like this unfazed? Oh, and they do side missions too. When they're not fighting animals 20 times their size, they're usually fighting venomous snakes. They'll eat a black mamba, they'll eat a cobra, they'll eat a wasp nest with the wasps in it. And even if they get bit, they're resistant to venom. So they just sleep it off for a couple hours. And then it's on to round two. But everybody knows the honey badger. This next one is the definition of a sleeper. Yep, that mouse was howling like a wolf. That ain't no ordinary mouse. That is the grasshopper mouse, also known as the werewolf mouse. It's basically a fun-sized, fully carnivorous hunter, and they are very aggressive. If you want smoke, you get it. They're known to hunt other mice, tarantulas, giant centipedes, snakes. In what world does a mouse hunt a snake? But their personal favorite is bark scorpions which just so happens to be the most venomous scorpion in the US. But Mighty Mouse here, they don't care. Now they have a slight immunity to most venom. Slight, but that's not the crazy part. Their body has the ability to convert venom into painkillers. That is literally the definition of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a superpower. Oh, but the best part by far is after they win in battle, they howl like a wolf to claim their territory. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says. That is the coolest mouse in the world. Sorry, Mickey. Speaking of gangsters in the US, you're gonna like this one. I know, I know, it looks cute. Don't let it fool you. That is the black-footed ferret. Now they're only found in North America and they're actually said to be the rarest animal in North America. Like really rare. Scientists actually thought they were extinct for a while. So you'll probably never see one unless you're a prairie dog. They love prairie dogs for what they are inside. They eat prairie dogs, but how they hunt them is straight out of a horror movie. When they see a prairie dog, they don't attack it right away, but rather they wait and follow it to its burrow. And once they find the burrow, they camp out and wait for nighttime when all the prairie dogs fall asleep. At that point, this ball of violence will sneak into the burrow and prepare its attack. What it does is it will nudge one of the prairie dogs to wake it up. Once the prairie dog wakes up, it will lift its head up, exposing its throat. And the ferret will clamp down on its throat and finish it before it can make a sound. And it will proceed to execute the entire colony over the course of a night. That is serial hunting. But the worst part is when it's all said and done, they will keep the burrow for themselves as their new home. And now their new home is filled with food. That's a villain story. Jesus Christ, let's move on. Yep, we definitely gotta put this ball of purely condensed violence on the list. The Wolverine is basically the honey badger's big brother. It's the largest member of the weasel family, getting between 30 and 50 pounds. Now that's not very big, but it makes up for it with everything. Like the fact that they have molars that are rotated 90 degrees. That helps with crushing bones and ripping flesh. Or the fact that they have what some people would consider the sharpest claws in the entire animal kingdom. That's why this guy is called Wolverine. Sharp claws. You take all of that and you mix it with a really bad attitude and you get yourself one hell of a problem. They will literally fight anything. If you didn't notice the video at the beginning, that is a Wolverine taking down an elk. 
Do you know how big an elk is? They'll also chase bears away from their food. They'll chase wolves away from their food. And if these animals don't run, they'll fight and sometimes win. Now you're probably asking yourself, how would a wolverine take a bear? Well, it happens. In fact, there's one report of a wolverine killing a polar bear at a zoo. A 1,000 pound carnivore was taken out by an animal the size of a toddler. Wolverines are the definition of built different. I'd say we're pretty lucky. If wolverines were any bigger, we might not exist. On that note, I, I, I'm just gonna go to the next one. Did I hear him say that he wants to give that thing a hug? You know what? You know what? We listen, but we don't judge. The Tasmanian Devil. After hearing that, it's a very fitting name. It's basically a 30-pound hyper-condensed version of John Wick that's part of the marsupial family. And this little monster is known for having a 1,200-pound bite force. It's about the same as a bear. Sorry, I should be more specific a polar bear. It's actually the strongest bite force of any mammal in the world relative to its size. But then again, what do you expect? They literally eat bones. They also eat snakes and birds and rodents and cattle and basically anything with a heartbeat or without a heartbeat. They'll even eat carcasses. Another thing they're known for is having anger problems that no amount of therapy could fix. And trust me, you'll know when they're mad. They don't hide it. First off, their skin will start turning red and they'll start lunging at you. It's basically their version of taking off their jewelry. They'll also start spinning in circles, which is where the cartoon gets it from. Do you know how mad you have to be to just start spinning? Or they'll just start yelling at you, which is a sound that nobody could prepare you for. <laughs> Why do you think they're called Tasmanian Devils? That's a sound that you would only hear in a very warm climate under our feet. Now don't get me wrong, I love Tasmanian Devils. It's actually one of my favorite animals. I don't think they're huggers though. Now before I start giving everyone nightmares, I, I think we're gonna call it quits here. I hope you learned something new. I love you guys, and as always, subscribe for more facts. <laughs>